Jesus. I'm sorry, guys. I thought I could get through that in 45 minutes. That was a lot. I'm just happy they got the final countdown in here. Once again, welcome to the AEW Dynamite Sidecast, everybody. The editing of this is going to be hectic. How is everybody doing today, by the way? I hope you're all doing well. It's my first day of vacation, so I'm literally just trying to... Just trying to enjoy life as we go here. Tomorrow's going to be a big day. And I don't mean just because I'm turning 46 tomorrow, which is not a big deal. Echoes of Wisdom comes out tomorrow. Yeah, that... I wonder what's going to be on this show and what's going to be on Saturdays, Jay Quick. Let me, uh, what I'm going to do right now is just take out the McMahon documentary part on there and I got to grab my teleprompter and turn it over to chat. Been waiting for October. Metaphor Retasio and and why is that? Yeah. Well, hell, I didn't get a chance to play Terry yet. I want to uh, check out. I want to check out that. I've seen Chaos Reigns. I'm not going to be getting the DLC yet because I, I seen how little that stuff means. I wasn't a like I watched uh, Maximilian Dude stream of it and it just doesn't feel like it's worthwhile playing right now. It's a nice side story, but it ain't worth full price. Who would have thought in 2023 we were gonna get McGinnis and Danielson? Seriously. But yeah, we got a hell of a lineup coming up this week, guys, if you're around. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, we're going to be playing the new Zelda game. And then Friday, we're going to finish off Astrobot. I didn't get a chance to on Sunday, so we're going to do that here. Yeah, this is amazing out of Star Grand Slam. I really wonder how much time they're going to get, though. That's the question. And what do you think about JR being on commentary tonight? I wonder if he's going to be here for just one match, or is he going to be here for the whole thing? Well, they're editing sound already. That's always great. All right, this is... You'd expect a lot of catches, catch cat wrestling in this one. And I think that'll be a lot easier on both guys, right? Because I'm going to bring up the doc again. Hogan trying to explain a, explain a wrist lock to us. That, to me, was one of the more hilarious parts of the uh, documentary. I'm just glad we just don't have to... let me just shrink this down here a little bit because I want to be able to read you guys a little easier here I, I will say this right now guys sorry I'm just throwing one more plug out here if you haven't if you're thinking about the Elgato prompter I did that entire uh, entire video the last 45 minutes I did solely on uh, that so 
Yeah, that, that's the thing about the Zodiac. It's wrestling AF. And that's why I like talking in between it, because, you know, you got a little bit of time to breathe in between everything. The biggest... This is why I like having JR on this call. Because JR is more than willing to stretch things out and get some different uh, vernacular in and tell a little more story while these guys are taking a break here. I'd love to see this be commercial free tonight, by the way. Oh, good old Nigel. <laughs> Simply put, I don't think... I do not think that Nigel's that big to, to worry about that kick, to be honest. I almost think they do put Nigel over. I would. So it's going to be his only match in 13 years. Nigel going for the bell lock? I have to ask you, chat, how did you feel about the build up to this? The build up to this match was basically made by one person throughout the whole thing. I think it was excellently done, but at the same time, it was just one person, right? Could have been better, of course, but also we only had two weeks. I just really did. Nigel did well for what he could do. Oh, I'm getting a smart, smart cookie here. So, how's everybody's week? Sorry, normally we get the chat pre-stream here, but I got a little preoccupied. Oh, God. Very nice drop to hold there. How's everybody's week been? I'm still on a high from after the Bills winning on Monday. Pretty sure Josh Allen's just throwing another touchdown right now. Got a big interview on Fred Press start. That's right. You guys got a hurricane coming tomorrow. Hope you're staying safe, sir. Like I, let's hope your building's still one piece by the time tomorrow happens. It's one thing I've always worked well. I like how Tony Khan has said the AW pay-per-views are off Bleacher Report now Shot Around Base confirmed it. they could also just be off Bleacher Report just cause Bleacher Report's contract right out feel we're gonna be five Panhandle's gonna get smacked Ugh. yeah one of the people here at Backbreaker uh, Ashton Pizarro is actually coming to Edmonton tomorrow so as long as the uh Yeah, ble oh, I can't speak to it because I've been using the Triller app. 
I'm assuming that until, well, if everything goes over to Max in January, I'm assuming that uh, we'll still have to use Triller up here in Canada. Unless Crave's going to take it over, which I'd love to see it. Uh oh, here we go. Well, there's a Psycho knee, except he's taking a sweet time to get the cover, so I don't think he's going to win it there. Could you imagine Moxley coming out right now? Very productive on my end, personally, this week. We focusing on some goals and great. Hey, that's great. I actually did something today that helps with a little bit of my goals as well if you guys didn't notice i actually had a graphic about what's going on tonight i want to start doing a little bit more of that as we go forward here claudio comes up maybe he's the only guy that isn't involved in right now That wasn't even a full kick out. That was just get, popping a shoulder a little bit. I love how Danielson had to jump to get that foot. If Nigel wins, I feel sorry for Javadi. Yeah, he will definitely. What in the hell? That was nice. That was a nice combination by Nigel there. Like basically set for a power slam, right? Oh yeah, he, well he doesn't shut up anyway, but... I'm the guy who beat Daniel said. Smack that damaged arm down, yeah. No, the couple goals that I want to do, I want to, I want to, uh, Sorry, I just had to quickly throw a message out there. I think Danielson's in fine shape, like as much as he's gonna be at this age and ability. Okay. Danielson kicks out at one. Yeah, Nigel looks great. Danielson looks okay. Think about the fitted priest beef. Honestly, it's played its course. I think it wouldn't have been as bad if, uh, I think it would have got a lot more prestige if uh, Rhea and, and Liv weren't in the same feud at the same time, right? Because I think Judgment Day versus Terra Twins feud not, since there's two, they're getting it split up, right? Yeah, I love a Nigel clothesline. Re overshadows everything, yeah.
But yeah, I I saw the highlights. I haven't watched Raw. I usually don't just because I don't have time for it. I was on call last week and I was too busy watching the Bills throw touchdowns. There you go. There's some 12 to 6 elbows. Oh God, he hit it. If he wins, I don't think he wins clean. It could be. Sorry guys, I normally don't like to be on my phone. while I'm here so like to focus on you because that's you guys are the most important here wrestling's important but you guys are more important right Nigel after this beat up Shivani no 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 didn't we have that come up last week with uh, Hangman Page we already have enough people wanting to beat up Shivani That's how the whole hangman feud started, right? Well, they're both okay for now. Once again, everybody, just thank you for popping in here tonight as we're uh, watching AEW Dynamite Grand Slam and this epic matchup here between Nigel McGuinness and Brian Danielson. If you like what you see here, give us a little follow here. Always know when we're on. Now uh, it looks like we got some heavy bobs going. Oh God! As much as you hate Nigel, you gotta love Nigel all at the same time. Oh God! You notice Nigel hooks the first leg instead of the back leg? I find it actually is a little smarter to do that in some ways. If only Nigel had more of a Christian buildup, yeah. Can't get it. <laughs> Got, gotta find a comfortable grip. That's usually a guy problem, right? <laughs> Sorry, I had to. He's got his shoulder up. No, oh, now in the center of the ring. Ah, oh, damn. If 
That's cool. That is cool. Nigel just like the announcers just said Nigel literally just said thank you. This in the mocks match is what you've been looking forward to, hey. They're good bookends. That's the key here. They're good bookends to uh to what we're going to be getting here for uh for AEW Grand Slam. Sorry, I don't have a Bronx accent, so I tried my British one. Whatever. Oh, look who's cashing in. Thought Nigel would have won. Ah. Uh. He's not cashing in. He doesn't have his guys with him. Christian's going to beat Darby for it. Kip just became a hero. Uh oh. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Uh, Claudio and Pat just stay there. Like, it's almost like uh, you're you're diving through different. Uh, oh, we got hook and stroke. Okay. I'm assuming the FTW title does it. Dead, 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 dead. <laughs> I, I believe the term is avoid, 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 avoid. That's when you're hitting one of these. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's a submarine when they got it, when it, when it sees it's a beat, so it t tries to submerge. That's pretty much what Christian Cage is doing as soon as he saw Claudio and uh, Pac there. Oh. What a great start to Dynamite tonight. What a great day of wrestling overall. Well, good wrestling viewing. Does Roddy win the title? No. No, no. Hook needs a couple wins. A new champion needs a couple wins before he loses it. Especially after he's already won and he lost it off... Uh, off a rivalry that I don't think he loses it. I don't think he loses it this quick. But now that we're a half uh half hour removed, I'll for those that are available, coming up tomorrow I will have my review of the Mr. McMahon documentary. It will be up on our YouTube channel. I'm gonna say probably about four o'clock eastern it's not gonna be the morning video because i have a eh, it might be the morning video i don't know at this point maybe tomorrow morning uh i will be recording a, a wrap up to it after we're done here if you guys want to stick around for my final thoughts on the p on the documentary on netflix I almost said ple there but if you want to stick around for my final thoughts it'll be after we're done the wwe 2k24 recordings here so but yeah we'll uh we'll put those together and uh that will be coming out tomorrow long story short long-term wrestling fans don't need to watch all of it but i would would recommend checking out the first episode and then maybe the last two episodes even the last half of the episode five. Two, three, and four, basically, if you've been around for a few years when it comes to wrestling, you know all that stuff. There hasn't been anything spectacular there, We're just basically building a brand. But yeah, that was... I'm going to really need your guys' feedback uh, it, when you get back to take a look at that video that I put up. If I do enough of those, I might actually go around and like 
try to do a little bit more commentary stuff here as we go. I've been inking to do more content than just the just the live streaming with wrestling. I do know we have the How the Ref Would Book Challenge of just, yeah. We'll get there. Because <laughs> I know Vic's all over it like a dirty shirt. I know he'd be, he's raring to do it, but I've been the one falling behind. And now that Kayla's back in school here, it's been a little tough to get her to film anything like that. And I'm sorry when she's getting into a job where it requires saving people's lives. I'm going to let her take priority on that. Thank y'all. All right. Let's see what kind of pop hook gets at home. I'm surprised they didn't do it already in the ring for Roderick here. One thing I found out about 2K, and I'm actually really surprised. No matter what order you put them in, the champion will always go in last. Free introductions? Ashley bit on a hiatus, so don't know if they... Eh, you know what? Maybe we'll have to make our own content, sir. I'm sure we can figure something out here. Now that coast, one thing that I found out here, and there's a real neat, I know I go on tech divergence here as we go. One neat thing about stream together now that's come out, if you can get it to work, uh, they actually have it now that both chats will be, both chats will show up on both streams. So the only thing I'm worried about, and I'm trying to figure it out right now, I want to get, if you guys didn't hear, next week we're going to have our debut on YouTube for our uh, live streams being live. Uh, starting with the five-year anniversary, we're actually going to be running this stream on YouTube at the Backbreaker Video YouTube channel, as well as here on uh, the old Twitch. Uh, the WWE part will be exclusive to Twitch, though, so... But, uh, yeah, I just want to see if I can find a way to make sure both chats get on the screen the way they're supposed to. See if we can mix them up so you guys aren't... I'm having a conversation with a bunch of people on YouTube and you don't know what's going on here. boy, David. And sorry, we... Are, they decided to turn the heaters on in my apartment building this week. Which means everything in the hallways is roasty here. It's only 23 degrees here, but... I love the fact that they have a logo of the middle finger on one of the side plates. They actually have it on the screen as the promo. I think this is the most technical FTW match I've seen yet. The Anaconda Vice, call it right. Just say to piss off CM Punk, come on now. All right, which local celebrity are they going to run into here? Taz, well, of course Taz is there, but I don't think he wants to get used that often. Oh, so they just use Sport Court for the uh, 
for the floor. Sorry, if you're looking behind the the uh, black, well, behind the uh, barricade, you can see on the floor, it's like that beige. You can see the, uh, the jigsaw type uh, setup on it. Freaking David. And that, uh, that puzzle piece type stuff is the, uh, is known as sport court. They use it for like volleyball a lot from my experience of refing. Let's just randomly throw him into the, uh, the ring post here. As we hit our picture, picture segment. Uh, I'm going to be so happy when we finally get TSA off of uh, AEW here and vice versa. So we're still going to get the tag title match today. We should be getting the trios title match and the women's title match. I'm assuming those will be the five matches we get today. Mina Shirakawa versus Mariah May. Oh, he's going to talk about... Okay, so Prince Nana's coming for a promo, so... Everybody get your coffee cups ready. So yeah, Mariah May versus Yuka Sakazaki. Uh, United Empire versus uh, the Bucks. Nana avoid Hangman, absolutely. Well, kayfabe-wise... Hangman isn't here tonight. He's around on Saturday. Yes, they're filming everything today, which I know for some will make Saturday very anticlimactic, but hey, you got some big reasons to show up here on Saturday. We're getting Hangman and Jared in an old fashioned strap match. We're getting uh, Sammy Guevara and, and Okada, I believe. Or no, Jack Perry Okada, isn't it? No, it's Sammy and Okada, Jack Perry with an open challenge. Soraya in the uh, Qu Ditch Duchess of Queensberry rules match. Let's just say that's not the biggest incentive in the world other than the fact that Jamie Hayter's in it. And then, of course, don't forget everybody, right after uh, Collision on Saturday... You're supposed to have the, the BCC in a trios match. That's tonight. That'll be our fifth match tonight. But uh, after everything that's going on on Saturday, you to wake up, yeah. Uh, we are going to be here for our WWE 2K24 My GM WrestleMania. The conclusion to season two will be this Saturday. As we uh, culminate our second season here. And we got some great rivalries going on, so. Uh, I thought they were flipping right there, sorry. Don't want to give TSN extra. You don't forget your t That was stupid last week. I love that little detail that he forgot his title addressing group as he was leaving after a collision last Saturday. I still say we end up uh, we end up having you to just eat the pin for someone and then they just they just pieces out. I say Yuta turns on Danielson and Wrestle Dream. I don't think so because I think Danielson quit ends his career at Wrestle Dream. Yeah, 
I, I totally feel that Darby beats uh, Darby beats Danielson at WrestleDream, but he ends his career. We'll, we'll know a little bit more about that after tonight because we got, the, of course, that opportunity match coming up here for our main event here tonight. I'm really surprised that these two guys don't get in the ring and just... I need... Almost. I don't know how tonight plays out, but the end game is Darby taking that belt next. Yeah, I I think you have to, you have to give uh, you have to give Darby the victory tonight. I I think Mox shows up after. Uh, Ow. A judo throw right out of the chair. I wonder if it finds out that Danielson planned for, oh God, right in the fricking ribs. David having a conniption here. Oh God. And the heartache into the chair. There you go. There's the win. BCC jumps Darby after the match. Danielson. I don't think so. I think you're going to find out that Danielson actually set all that up. Because it was a wake-up call for him. And Mox was there to send the wake-up call to Darby. Because the whole group's about putting every, pushing everybody together, right? Is he actually going to shake his hand? Everybody's like, no, no, no. Okay. All right. Let me back this up for you guys. This show of respect goes back to a promo they did on Saturday. The uh, Taven and uh, Bennett did. Talking about how they want to change their uh, change their tune, change their attitude as they're going forward here because their goal was so solely to get the ROH Tag Team Championships. But after that Buckhouse brawl, they don't have a shot. So... If they're going to go after the Bucks, they're probably going to have to... They're, they're going to have to end up giving a bit of a face turn to these guys. Taz getting his pop. They're going to retire the title. I'd like to thank each and every one of you fans out there for supporting the XW Championship. And so now, from this very moment, the XW Championship 
The crowd's cheering. I think we're all cheering. Give it back to dad. All right, fat. I think this is a great idea, to be honest. Everybody's bitching and complaining about too many titles. And now they got rid of one. I, I think it's a great idea. Let's let's cut him back. Hook gets the opportunity to work on some other championships. Oh, here we go. United Empire, Young Bucks. Yeah, I think it's a very good decision. Like, the FTW title, we didn't need a hardcore title, really. I, I think when they came up with the international title, it sort of made the FTW title moot. Because let's face it, we could, you got the TNT title, you got the, uh, you got the international title. You could break one of those up at the more of a, more of a hardcore. Because I'd like to see, with, with all due respect, if we're going to get uh, Osprey in our decision to move himself towards the uh, title, to, to the main title, which I think he's going to get there within the next year, I, I would say. Unless they're going to do it two years from now, but either way. I would like to see them basically change the title a bit, yeah? FT title isn't really meant to be defended in a traditional sense, exactly. It was used in a way that it wasn't meant to, right? This tag match will be electric. Yeah, like, it's going to be a lot of fun. Watching the... Well... Fletcher, we've seen grow in front of our eyes here. And while well, Osprey versus the Bucks, yes, please. And then next week, for the five year anniversary, we get Hook and Ricochet, one, Hook and Ricochet three. I was going to say one, but no, this is the third time they met, I do believe. One was in New Japan, one was in WCPW, I do believe. And this should be the third time they've met, I do believe. Sorry, Osprey Ricochet. Yeah, but thank you for guys for getting all over it. I'm on the hook trade right now. <laughs> yeah, let's get Hook and Ricochet just for the hell of it. So, sort of those opposite styles. That That's why I keep booking bad matches on the uh, 2K24 sometimes. I just get a match stuck in my head that shouldn't be there. Ugh. Yeah, no, we get... Uh... Do we have any other matches booked? For... Oh, we got uh, Britt Baker versus Sarita Deeb as well booked for uh, fi the five-year anniversary. I honestly feel that now that they're trying to go with a face turn for Undisputed Kingdom, this might be the time when Adam Cole shows up because he is going to get that face turn no matter what. He's going to get that face pop just for returning. So why fight it? Deeb's going to help Baker sh show Baker still has it. Yeah. I honestly feel it still as a Mercedes problem, both those matches. It's not Baker. It's a, but hey, hopefully working out being able to do the same. So uh, just as a heads up for you guys as well, I know I'm throwing a lot of heads up here all over the place. For Title Tuesday, we will, uh, I'll actually be doing a, I'll watch both products. 
you don't get to see the difference on the screen because we don't get to show the show the dang video but i'll i'll use my monitor and i'll record both and then because i do have uh the one thing that frustrates me the most about uh nxt right now is the fact that they've moved it off traditional tv here in canada tuesday night has now become the uh dana white contender series if anyone still believes that Monet isn't the issue, they're kidding themselves. Their best match was against Vakur, which really could drive all the credit where it's due, yeah. Did you guys get a chance to hear that Vakur uh, made her promo debut uh, last night on NXT? She's basically called next from uh, Roxanne and Julia, which almost makes me feel that Roxanne's winning. Callus actually thinks that Osprey's back. This is going to be a lot of fun, folks. This is going to be a lot of fun. Wasn't my favorite way to debut her segment, but I can't wait for the match. I don't know if her uh, Turbo Graphics 16 sided. Sorry. Let me get that out right now. So what's Hook going to do next to, without the FTW tile? It's fitting that the FTW tile is being retired in New York. Cause... Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm with you, FaZe. Just having the FTW title retired in New York actually is probably one of the smartest moves around. No, no, don't apologize. I, there's nothing to apologize for. You're bang on here right now. That actually makes a lot of great sense. <laughs> I love the United Empire. Uh, okay, man. How you all doing tonight? Ho hope everybody's doing great. We're having a great time here. Done one of my first uh, documentary reviews earlier in the stream. If you guys want to check that out, that'll be a separate video. It was appropriate you gave it to the FTW to the guy that recreated. Yeah, well, it's probably Taz's title to begin with. That's why. That's why uh, Hook was so pissed, or sorry, Taz was so pissed when Hook made his uh, little graphic on the uh, the for the world part because he probably figured it was permanent, and, and Jericho probably didn't want to tell him that it was just temporary okay let's see here wonder what Taz gonna do it's probably a it's probably his title from home. Go over its fireplace right where it was before. I think every I think it's just a consensus that everybody's happy that it's God. Not necessarily that Hook didn't treat it right, just per personally just let it let it die. There's enough title. Oh God, that's gotta suck. It's more prop than championship for you. Yeah, like I said, send the hang over the, the fireplace. Look by the favor for the C2. No, no. no. Right now, I will call it right now. If you're gonna go to Vegas for uh, the the C2, Kanuski Takeshita is the odds odd favorite for winning that. Oh, picture, picture, gotta hit mute. 
Yeah, Takeshita, without a doubt, has to be the guy that is uh, the the odds-on favorite for Wade the C2. Yeah, like, I, I don't mean to argue with you. I can see your point where Ho I can see Hook being in it. If you really want to start making Hook a star, that's how you do it. You put him in the C2, give him a win or two maybe. And yes, I did see Omega and Kota training. It's been happening for a little bit here. Omega's still a far way away from coming back, I do believe. I don't even want to speculate on it because when he comes back, it'll be just that much better. And I'm just very... I'm just very happy that he's actually having the ability to get out and train because, well... Let's face it, diverticulitis is something that you cannot treat lightly. There is a possibility you could... Uh, you could totally... Uh, you could totally die from it, seriously. And Omega wrestled as much as he did with it just to make it that much worse. Like, he even tried to put over Ethan Page in Montreal. But with with his uh, diverticulitis and barely being able to stand up think Julia beats Roxanne maybe give her the title of the first night with the company oh no it'll be the second match that's right because she beat Chelsea Green I wouldn't mind it. It just to me means that Roxanne's got to go up because I don't think you do anything with her back down here anymore. It's a dilemma you can find a lot when you don't have anybody available to do much. But yeah, what? That's a week and a half away, maybe? Or sorry, that's next week. My bad. So have you been dabbling in the Marvel Fighting Collection? The other Fighting Collections? Are oh, I managed to get one night in so far, but I'm a P right now I'm a PC. Uh, I bought it on PC right now. I bought it off Steam because I want to actually get the physical copies when they come out in November. Um, I haven't been able to get to it since the matchmaking has been fixed. We are going to get back into it on stream here sometime next week. So Odds are there might be a... Chance uh, we get uh, two streams up tomorrow. We'll see. Or what very long ass stream, one or the other. Soraya debuted at this show. Do we get a return debut? I think their number one goal tonight is to put over uh, put over Darby at the end of the night, so I don't think you're going to do that. My, my opinion is you don't bring anybody in. You don't debut anybody because if the biggest thing you want to do here is make Darby look like a star, look like a main event, the last thing you want to do is bring somebody extra in. Oh, no, I, I know Justin very well. I'm subscribed to his channel. I've, I've been watching a lot of these fights live. No, I haven't read it to Justin. And now that the matchmaking sort of fixed, I probably never will. For, for me, my goal right now is basically to get in and check out Terry from Street Fighter VI. For me, that's the one that I really want to see right now. We'll get back into Marvel vs. Capcom 2, that's for sure. Actually, one of my favorites. It's the only game I actually finished in the collection in the arcade mode. And that's X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Bus Nakal Rising Taco. Every time I play as you know Terry Bogard day, I get hungry. Cause all I hear is Rising Taco. All right, still without a hitch on that, right? Hungry like the wolf. 
So you say earlier you think Danielson planned this, or you say Danielson turns heel? I don't think Danielson turns heel at all. I think it's all about prep and Darby. Remember what Mox said? He's setting it up so that the future generation is ready to go, right? I think that's the only way that would that storyline would make sense. It, uh, oh God! Well, that's one way to counter a BTE trigger. Nox, you moron! Bullshit! Nox just didn't watch! Oh god, Poison Rod out of nowhere. You knew there were going to be spots in this match where it was just going to be amazing, Ball. All right, flattened out. 450, Canadian Destroyer, Hidden Blade. Bam, 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 bam. My God, the whole crowd's on its feet. I don't think the I don't think the the guys have to worry about Rick Dox's count. He can't get to twenty, let alone Ted. Just literally big bag boob. I bet you Osprey said that he wanted both titles to, tonight. Because now he's got extra time before the new Assassin's Creed comes out. If you guys haven't heard, uh, the new Assassin's Creed game has been delayed till Valentine's Day. Matt, I'd be a little careful. That game is cursed, yeah. Let's snap a hurricane right out of nowhere. Oh no. They do this on the apron and it's pooched. Oh yeah, that's it. They're going to go for a count out instead. Oh, the uh, Ghost of Yeti there. Or Yotai, sorry. I have to say that might be one of the very few games that I'm looking forward to off that direct yesterday. I got a chance to look at it late last night. The Among Us, or sorry, the uh, Astrobot DLC will be cool. I'm not a Lunar fan. I am I know you are. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a fan of games where you have to plan on beating people up. Unless I'm doing a GM mode or something like this. Yes, I'll boo myself. But at the same time, I want to beat somebody up. Not just try to beat somebody up. I want to beat somebody up. Is that a bad thing? Beat him. Well, well, seriously, if you're dealing like, that's why I was never a fan of the Final Fantasy games because you know, you got to pick which which character you want. You they, or you get a turd of which character you got. Then you got to pick which attack you want to do, and you got to pick which mod. I want to go out there, hit X X X X Y Y Y Y B B B B, and taunt with A. That's all I want to do. I'm not here trying to get fancy. I don't want to give them a chance to be... Something I've always learned. Hit the XXX all the time. <laughs> I'd be careful. D don't watch part six of that documentary and talk about that too much. Oh, but I digress. 
You'll never forgive the name of Rey Mysterio ever again. That midnight walk. Here's the thing, and uh, a lot of people don't realize this, and it sort of explains a lot about what I'm, what I do here for gaming. Oh God. Just a random drape, big DDT on the on the edge of the apron. I have a, uh, I forget what it's called immediately here right now, mainly because my brain's half screwed half the time here. But uh, I, I have a hypersensitive personality, I believe is what the exact term is. So I can't really do a lot with scary games. So like, for example, and once again, I am the plug machine here. Uh, just so you guys know, when Raw starts going to two hours, immediately following Raw on here, on our Twitch channel, we will be playing Monster League Football for the Xbox One. We'll be going through a season as uh, that's uh, part of our scary game for the month, which really isn't that scary. It's more fun than anything else. But yeah, I have to be very careful of that kind of stuff because... If I get immersed too much and over oversensitized with some scary stuff, it can screw with me pretty good, so. So I was never a big fan of just random violence. But no, I'm glad you're I'm glad people are finding stuff to be interested in. I was thinking maybe dip it into a little bit of Legacy of Kane because I never did the original. But I will say that uh, next month, if you have PlayStation Plus Extra, that's the big one for me because WWE 2K24 is free if you're a premium member. For the free games I've been getting, I figure I might as well be. No way! Stereo Styles Clash! Stereo Styles Clash! Holy sh! Hit it, Blade! No, it's a kick out. You can see Nick sitting on the apron there. You're a secretly AJ Styles coming to AEW. There is some talk that his contract is up, but he did say that his, his contract's up at the end of the year, which I keep trying to remind myself that's only three months away. Ah, sorry, Hoagie Man. I have a social, or sorry, hypersensitive, hypersensitive personality. So exciting games I can't really, like the ultra scary games I can't do. So we're doing Monster League football here after after Raw every week now, starting on the seventh. AJ, AJ would be a great fit in AEW with I think it would be Osprey was waiting for that <laughs> You gotta love it when they try to steal a finisher, right? All right, we need we need finisher number four hundred and sixty-eight here before we're gonna get this done.
This is intense. Brain Buster! No. Oh my goodness. Nick pushed Nicholas. Oh my God. Curious if you do one more run in TNA. I think they're holding him out right now so that he can do Bow for Glory, which is their WrestleMania, which is coming up next month. Now Osprey hit a one wing angel right there. Yeah. I don't think he's going to do a run. I think he's going to do an appearance. AJ goes for one night on him and Josh. Could be. Could be Josh. Do you see any wrestler with an open challenge? And here come the belts. And here comes the second belt shot. Because Knox is blind. Excuse me? The bedazzled cow's shoes got you weak. Ah. How is... How is Osprey dead and Fletcher got up right away? It's the only thing I have a problem with this. Unless the belt shot was more flush. I don't care if this was like Callous Tom Foolery, that was a hell of a match. Every time Callous gets involved, they lose. So now they're trying to, uh, I don't know which way they're going to go with this. Are they going to go with Os Osprey losing or are they going to go with, go with the family break apart? Are they going to lose Callus one or the other? Well, they don't have Ishii anymore, so Rocky is actually a pretty decent. Hope they lose Callus. I think we all do, but that's just, that's the interesting story. Them boys now, ass woman. So now everywhere they 
Vociferous. Renee, don't show that off at the box at a match later. He can't be just, maybe it gets him fired up more. Prince Nana now? Briscoe switched to decal. There we go. Yeah, Prince Nana now. He ain't here. I ain't doing the dance. I, he ain't here. I ain't doing the dance. It just doesn't work to say without, you know. <laughs> I'm with the guy in the front row. <laughs> This is gonna, he's gonna say he's back for Wrestle Dream. But, but physically, he's not clear to come back. But he's fighting hard every single day for each and every one of you. Whose house? Whose house? Oh, God. For now. Until now. He missed the word day in there. Please, please let him not be alone. Please don't let him be alone here tonight. Thank you. 
Wow. Yeah, I think that's where we might be going here, Jay Quick. All right, enjoy. We'll see you in a bit, Hoagie Man. Enjoy the shower. One word sends the pop of the year out. Well, we got our debut. I was wondering where that promo was going. That is nuts. Oh, once again, the no draft kicks ad. So, yeah. I, I think it's pretty obvious that we're going to get the Hurt Syndicate in here. We're just, what is it going to form? Business, you say? Yeah, I, well, they can't call it Hurt Business. Right? Like, yeah, Lashley's on his way. All right, commercial break as we go. I'm just going to throw the ads up right now so we don't have to worry about it while they got ads going on here on the uh, show here. So business has just picked up. Ah, <laughs> oh, such a great pick. Such a great thing to happen here. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun having... MVP, Lashley, Shelton, and Swerve. That could be a combination. I, I think we can go all over the place and thinking who it could be. I've always been a sit back and watch kind of person because, like, having MVP just show up, I, I wonder how long he... I, I wonder who he's bringing. That's all I could say. I didn't think they'd bring any more than that tonight because, like I said, I think the focus of tonight is to try and get Darby into that position where he's ready to face uh, Danielson at Wrestle Dream. And this is that ultimate test for him here. So I still say Moxley's like that last boss before he faced the final one. The only difference is in most games these days, the last boss before he's faced the final one is usually tougher than the final boss. And I don't think that's the case here. But yeah, it's it's going to be a lot of fun just seeing how things build with the now that we got a another faction coming in. I'm not so worried about people losing like we've had talk about people losing deals and losing out and some people leaving, some people uh like their contracts running up and that. This is why you should never be worried about it and be excited about it. For the fact that if other people leave, other people can fill in, other people can show up out of nowhere and it's moments like this that give me heart that you know Kevin Steen will eventually show up here on a AEW screen could you imagine like unless they set up Owens for the rumble I almost feel it might be happening but it I, I know a lot of people talk about contract talks and all that stuff. I try not to stay too locked on it. More so for the fact that I like a surprise when I get out here. Well, hell, you guys saw what happened at the pay-per-view when Britt Baker showed up. I'm sure Zodiac's ears are still hurting from me yelling. Ah, dang it. I thought you were getting out of the commercial already. But no, we are... Holy crap. We're almost an hour and a half in right now. I thought we were maybe an hour in. Now we're an hour and a half. That that tag team match was 
definitely awesome in the way to go there. I don't know if we're going to get a trios match tonight. Because Darby and Mox, you got to give at least 15. Ah, Perry in the school bus. Oh, good. Now we don't have to deal with those pesky ads for 45 minutes. Thank you for putting up with those ads, guys. That makes me wonder after what we just saw. This Yuka? Oh, yeah. But this ain't going to get more than 10 minutes. That's the scary part. Does Mina show up? I don't think she shows up tonight. I just don't think there's enough time to have her show up. To be honest, like, what, we're at 25 after already. We got 35 minutes plus overrun. Uh, you should see what Nyla Rose's re response was to MVP showing up. You notice Mariah's gone with a black outfit this time. Getting away from the white. I know, I know, you guys probably aren't watching that much about the outfit. Oh, God. You could just sit the hell of that. Sorry, Nana, I think you're going to be thrown out of Swerve's house. Eh, maybe. Also depends on what kind of loyalty Swerve has, right? Aubrey say, get in here. We're out of we're short on time. Shortest match ever. Uh, that, that outfit can make Nigel happy after a loss. <laughs> I'll give you that. Ooh, that was a nice slap. Think all that. Is that hair an advantage? The fact that you slap and you don't feel the full effect? Are we like time to go home? We got a number one contender match to do. Wouldn't surprise me. We got 10 minutes probably. Hook that leg, Yuka, yeah. Yeah, they'll probably give Darby and Mox 15, 20. Give them a five minute overrun. And then the trios title match might be on Saturday. Yeah, I'm just glad to see Yuka back. Just like uh, the guys are saying on commentary there. She was actually getting a pretty good run until, you know, 
She got injured just before that match with Deeb, right? Yeah, so they're only showing one more matchup, so... Trio's match probably got cut. Oh, God. That's got to suck right in the back. Yeah, you'd have got lost in New York. Isn't that a movie? Maybe you got caught on the bus on the way here. Maybe he's taking the train to the wrong spot. You could counter. He ran into MVP, thought it was Regal. Oh, God. Well, they're going for something here. I don't know if they get... Counter Mayday into a roll up here. I laughed, Mariah forgot to kick out on one of these. She did. She did. She forgot to kick out. <laughs> or she couldn't. Yeah, no, she remember to kick out. That's great. All right, well, let's go here. Hammerlock it. Couldn't. I don't know how you could do a spinning slam like that on someone that much bigger. Jesus. My God, that German. When you got somebody a hell of a lot taller against someone small like that doing a German, you look like you get folded up like an accordion. Give Yuka that belt. I saw the three. Yeah, I think we all did. Nice kick. They work for the Shah Stopper. Yeah, that's fair enough. See, I don't know if we're going to see Shaw tonight. I got to see what kind of strength he's got. And I... Oh, God. No, nope. knees up. That knee sucked. Here comes Storm Zero, and that'll be it. Glad Mar Mariah got her belt back. Got her belt retained. Yuka got a good match in. Like, I don't think anybody expected her to win, and guess what? She didn't. This whole match fair feel a bit off and lethargic. I bet you they had a bunch cut out, and they didn't know how to shrink it up that much. Because look at it. We're down to, like, 10... Like what, 10 minute match? 
Oh, and here comes Willow. Willow and Tony. Um. I'll take that. Mina pulled a surprise, but... Okay, that... That whole thing felt like it was supposed to be a 20 minute match that went down to 10, including the aftermatch segment. Hi, Mina. I think everybody would have wished that we would have had Mina on for a little bit longer there. So, but I guess we'll have to see how things are going here. I know Mina has moved to the US for a little while, mainly because they don't have much for her in stardom at this point. But yeah, as we get into our last commercial uh, of Dynamite here, as per tradition, uh, just give you a rundown of what's coming up here in the next few days here on the channel. First of all, thank you for stopping by here. Appreciate it. If you haven't hit the follow button yet, please do. Let you know every time that I am online. Uh, I will be back tomorrow with, uh, quote unquote, the birthday stream, as they call it. Uh, we uh, will uh, debut uh, Zelda, Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. Friday, we're going to be in here probably about 1 o'clock. A little extra stream here. Uh, we're going to finish up Astrobot. We didn't get a chance to do it on Sunday. Saturday, we'll be back here for AEW Grand Slam as well as uh, our WWE 2K24 WrestleMania. Or sorry, after today. WrestleMania! It's close as Vince as I'm going to get. Uh, Sunday I probably will have a uh, the Backbreaker Fight Club up and stay tuned because well frankly I'm on holidays till uh, next Friday so I'm probably going to have a bunch of extra streams up going to work on a couple videos that I've been looking at a couple thoughts that I've had going to put some scripts together do some videos and yeah I'll definitely have a bunch of streams up so Best thing to do, just hit the follow button, make sure the bell notification's on, and we're good to go. I just got sent something very important. Ah, excellent. If what I just saw here is true, we're going to have some good times. And yeah, I guess apparently he MVP is officially all elite. All I can say is definitely confirm that he signed. But yeah, I'm just I'm looking forward to this main event here. Darby and uh, Darby and Mox. It's going to get a little chaotic. They're going to get about 15 minutes to do everything. I do feel that Darby is going to go over on this. Because this was all about getting your main eventers ready. It was never w about winning the spot. But it's once again, it's about bringing, bringing the most out of people, right? That's what Mox always said. That's what the BCC is there for. I do like the fact that Mina's, or sorry, uh, Marina's coming out as a bodyguard. Just get, do something with Marina. She's like, he talked about pushing other people. Well, they found somebody. Guy's left hanging with his fist there. I love that.
Christian Maxe. Hey, Hoagie Man, glad to have you back. We're just getting ready for our main event here on Dynamite tonight. A number one contenders match between John Moxley and Darby. You can't kill me. I've already tried out Allen. This needs to be extra violent. No, it should be, but this ain't pe pay per view. And here's my other call, guys. There shall be blood. I think there will be, but I don't think there'll be extra violence. Watch them two minutes into the match. Both guys are bleeding and there's four chairs everywhere. Uh, my call right now, I'm making a prediction right now as we go into this main event. It has nothing to do with tonight. Coming into next week, we are going to be talking about the AEW TV deal that's been announced earlier in the day. Making that call right now. It's perfect for them. It's perfect for WBD to announce it there. Because I believe it's the fall preview days. Shut up, JR. The ring announcer's talking. Give Justin his respect. By the way, guys, quick question. Yeah, I think it's announced next week. Quick question for you guys. I don't know if you got a chance to hear it, but uh, Darby Allen was on Busted Open Radio last week. Earlier this week, sorry. He was hyping up uh, the show this week, and he was... Uh, he actually talked about the musical equivalent to uh between wrestling companies the wwe is the taylor swift of wrestling but AEW is more like the slayer of wrestling for the fact that uh wwe is going to print out all those records but slayer still has a hell of a following no no vic he said about just the the philosophy about the companies That Taylor Swift is, you know, with the success she has and the amount of people it has. Like, AEW is never going to get the success of a WWE. But... So, sorry, I have to interrupt. Number one, Darby's bleeding already. Not even a minute in. Number two. Number two, Bleacher Report is officially gone. They just announced it right here. Not that they, Sean Ross Sapp already confirmed that, but the other thing is all the Bleacher Report stuff for AEW has been transferred over to Triller. So... If you guys were watching via Bleacher Report, any of you, assuming you guys are all outstanding citizens and you all buy it through legal means, uh, I, I do recommend the Triller app myself because that's what I use. All your rec have several on Bleacher. Apparently, they're being grandfathered into uh, Triller now, so... That's what they just said. It's being sunsetted onto bleachers or onto a uh, trailer. I think I bought all the pay-per-views on trailer. Should I just join with the same email? I, I think that would make, I think you probably have to set up a new account, but. I mean, Slayer's considered one of the big four, but Metallica would be a bigger band. Considered WWE the Metallica. Yeah, fair enough. What the hell? 
hell is that? Holy crap. Yeah, you guys said it'd be violent, but I don't think there's weapon. It's not weapons violence. It's just violence. Mox in those combat pants, yeah. TK said that, and they have plans for Max eventually. Yeah, well, once they go to Max, nobody's going to care about the stuff you still have on Triller. Because they'll have all the pay-per-views up on the same spot. Like I said, for us Canadians, I hope that they... I hope it gets extended to Crave, which is the... The equivalent up here. That is smarter than hell. Well, there's one coffin drop already. We still got 15 minutes left. If you hit it or miss it, you're dead, so you're dead either way. JR, I love you, but, you know, matches, not shows. Matches, not shows. Oh, God. It's one thing I'm always worried about Darby with that scud. Like, literally, when he flies out of the ring like that. Box got up way too soon. That coffin drop. I agree. No, I, I, I do feel that's a little awkward having that. Moxley's trying to prove that he's big. Well, she's one of the four horsewomen. You can't bring that up. Now that three quarters of them are no longer in uh, WWE anymore. This is ugh. Oh, God. Like a pimp. Like a pimple there just trying to squeeze it there. Oh, Shafir, she's one of the four horsewomen there, Zodiac. Uh, Rousey's no longer in WWE. We got uh, Shafir. Jessamine Duke is now in... Uh, not. I don't think she's wrestling or else she's wrestling independent. The only one left in WWE is uh, Shayna Baszler now. Thought it was Lynch. Lynch, Bailey, Monet, and Charlotte. Eh. There's two different set, right? Yes, but we're edgier, so we use the MMA version. That that's what I'm trying to say here. And I the one thing that'll pop me is if one of those actually shows up over over here too. I I don't know. I, I got a hunch that another one's coming over here. So thanks for coming, Bleacher Report. Yeah, like, I can't speak to it because I'm not a part of, uh, I don't have to worry about that here in Canada because Bleacher Report doesn't come up here. But I've heard nothing but trouble with the service and 
co- probably the contract came up for a renewal and TK said thanks, but no thanks. And it almost makes me think that please pick up your fruitcake. <laughs> I'll give you that. No, uh, I-, I got a weird feeling that Bleacher Report might be the one that didn't want to do the packages. Like the remember last year we couldn't get all out and all in for one price. Because we were all looking, we we're all looking for a good deal because the pay per views were a week apart, right? They're like, nope, you got to do full price. And it's too late for us to adjust that. I, I got a feeling it was Bleacher Report that had had the issue with it, not Triller. Because Triller will do anything on a deal lately. Get your credits on anything, and I do want to recommend if you get an opportunity. And you uh, do have the Triller app. If you have Triller Plus, which is a lot of the indie pressing promotion, I think it's like eight bucks a month. Bully face LaGreca heel. I will just say that right now. Bully is not a face. He never was and never will be. Um, Mr. P-L-E-P-P-V. Ah, who cares about the terms? Um, Mox is toying with Darby. Yeah, he is. Like, he's going to toy with him for another five minutes here, and then Darby's going to get his comeback and win. I love the fact that the commentary table is so packed that Shivani can't even sit behind it. Trying to go for a hot shot and it didn't work. Tony Lee, it's not your company anymore. Darby going, oh, I thought he's going for another coffin drop. Drop kick off a chair. All right, I like that. You knew it would have to be something big to change the momentum of this match. What do you do? Oh no. Oh no, Darby. Whoever rips the whoever rips the turnbuckle off is usually the one that eats it. I, I love that uh I love that Taz is gonna try and Well that was a drop kick. I love how Taz was going to talk about how much of a disqualification it was, and then all of a sudden Darby heads over there, and Taz just shuts right up. Taz just happy got his title back. Yeah, I don't blame him. Nice splash. There's some nice torque on that. Now we got. Darby, boom, boom, boom.
Oh God. Mox goes for one slap and Darby crumbles. That is nuts. And now Moxley wants to continue count again. All right, so we're going to move fo foam for foam, right? That's foam. I hate to break it to you. It, it hurts, but it doesn't hurt as bad. He asked for this. Gonna give him the Death Rider? Oh, there goes a hip. I think those steps are supposed to be faced in a different way. You're not going to hit his again. I, I believe the thud. I don't know. I don't have a thud sound on my soundboard. No way. Yeah, he was literally hit by a bus. You think these are going to hurt him? We still haven't used that turnbuckle yet, so we're, we're not done yet. We're not done by the slightest. Foam or not, fuck that, yeah. And Darby just slides back in the last second. You can't kill him. <laughs> Danielson, either way, you're in for a fight. Absolutely. I think the match with Danielson will be a whole lot different than what you see here tonight. Here's the. Here's what happens. Into the buckle. May not finish it, but it'll set it up. Going to feed the... Uh oh No turnbuckles, so... Oh, God. No way. Dar Darby ain't getting out of this. I hate to say this, but Darby is not getting out of this. Or is he? S oh, he's getting out of it. Okay. Nope. Bulldog choke now. He's smiling. That's like yellow teeth. It is not fun. That was gross. Can I, can I just say that was completely gross? That was rough.
You can't kill him. Rensburg, they're on the ropes, you dumbass. Forgot to sit the legs first. Oh, a nice little bite. I like a little bite. Get a little dinner in. Super Death Rider, my God. Wow. All right, well, I guess we're getting Mox and Danielson. Well, that sucks. Mox going to retire Danielson? Maybe. But what does it do for Mox? That's the thing. What does that do for Mox? It's sort of like when Lesnar took the, the streak from Taker. Why would you do that? Maybe that tells me that... Danielson's got a necktie. Well, this is Half Dead Private Party and uh, Commander. If it's the hammer attack, I want to see a cast. I love the fact that Danielson came out with a necktie now that I see it. That is the ultimate ultimate callback I love it. All right. Sucks that Darby's not involved, but they're playing Final Countdown again. My God, TK is throwing out the budget. He must have got that contract signed already. Funny how they got that graphic done so quick. But you notice Wheeler is nowhere to be found right now. Oh, there we go, Saturday. I want to see them. I want to see Private Party just pin Yuta real quick. So, yeah, we're getting the rundown now going into uh, Collision on Saturday. Still think Yuta cost Danielson? We'll see. We'll see. I, I'm, I'm fine either way. 
Okada Guevara. I don't see Guevara getting his first win or giving Okada his first loss. Jared and Paige. That is going to be fun. And then next week we get Osprey and Ricochet. Like, er, yeah, I got it right this time. And Deben Baker. I say next week we see uh, Cole back. I, I, I just got a hunch. Just makes sense. It's the longest time. Hope he's okay. That's all. They're really trying to push that pay-per-view. So yeah, it looks like we're going to be doing a double taping of WWE 2K pretty much every week for a few weeks here. But tonight, my God, what a great show. What a great show. Like, Nigel and Daniel Sib put on a clinic to start the show. Capped off with that beautiful thank you right before the tap out. Just, yeah. Plus next week, I think we get the, ne yeah, we get the streaming announcement next week. Tonight we had, like, that tag team match. Like, that could main event a pay-per-view anywhere. This main event here. Sucks that Darby just disappeared as quickly as he did. At the end there, but he put a hell of a match with Moxley. I, I think it I think that was great. A lot of fun there. I, I'm with Zodiac a little bit. It feels like to to me it feels like that women's match was scheduled for twenty and put down for ten. And it just feels like they couldn't figure out how to get it put together and at a pace that they need to. It, it's funny, we were talking about DMD and Monet or, earlier and then we get that match. There's just still, still some misses yet in the women's division, and we just got to work on that. Tonight we stuck a fork of Bleacher Report. Yeah, which is, mm, rest in peace. And yeah, we'll, we'll get all the details about what's coming up here, probably, hopefully next week, so. Hey, Hogan Man, good to see you back here. We're just wrapping things up on this end. Then we're going to take a little bit of a break here, and uh, we're going to... Uh, Fire up WWE 2K24 here for some GM mode. Um, but yeah, overall tonight, I think this was a great show. And all this talking I'm having here, we got MVP. <laughs> Thank you, Jay Quick, for bringing that up. Because, yeah, for all the stuff we're talking about, such great matches tonight, we got MVP here. So when you have MVP, you have certain other people somewhat on their way. So I'm imagining in the wor in the infamous words of JR at WrestleDream, business is about to pick up. 